What is up guys? Jake from One Hive here with the next Ninja Live video. Uh, the war is just about four hours underway, so several attacks done already, but lots and lots more to go. Hopefully we can catch a few uh, before it gets too late. Um, it's getting kind of late at night now, but we usually have a few late night guys like myself. So uh, I will be in the shadows, hanging out, waiting for someone to go in. Be back, right back with a live attack. Oop, here we go. We are live with Master Fung going in on this one with a Go Valo, it looks like. Well, actually, Go Valo. So let's check it out here. Coming in, he's got his Golem already down. He's got his Queen down. Uh, we might have missed a few first few seconds of that. Sorry, I was actually eating uh, and not, not really paying attention to the screen. Been sitting here for a few minutes. Uh, the Valks going in at this point. Let's see how they do. The jump spell looks like it is going to connect, but I don't know if they'll wrap back around. Yeah, they're going to go through the wall. Uh, there were just too many tiles away, and it seems like Valks just like being the wall. Now they're going to try to come back and get that king. There they get him, moving into the base. Giant bomb going on the home. He needs a heal spell for those Valks. They're taking a lot of damage, and they're getting pretty low. There they are. That was a late heal spell, though. He lost several Valks. I don't think he needed to lose right there. Uh, but here come the Hogs. The Queen is dead. That's the important factor. Uh, she's down. Another air defense goes down to the Queen, so that's going to open up a little room for those Loons right there coming on the top side. Uh, the Hogs on the back side looking pretty solid right here. We'll see if where the Giant Bombs are. He does have a heal spell left, so he can take care of that um, when he needs to. If, if a Giant Bomb goes off, it's a double set. That could be trouble. Uh, right there, nice placement around uh, those last few defenses. This is going to be a three-star, no question about it. A minute 40 left. He's got cleanup troops all over the place. Nice spread on the troops that he does have. He's got Valks. He's got uh, Hogs. <clears throat> Excuse me. He's got his King and Queen still up uh, very, very nicely. Uh, done by Master Fung, just absolutely rolled over that base. Uh, excellent job, buddy. We'll let everybody know that he got ninjured, uh, and then he'll know when he gets out there. So, all right, looking good. Good start to the video. Obviously, lots more attacks to do. Hopefully, we can catch maybe a Town Hall 10 uh, going in, but if not, all, all is well. We'll just do some nine, Town Hall 9 action on this one. Been a little lighter on the Town Hall 9 action, but I told you guys I thought the channel would go in that direction, and I think most of you uh, are going to enjoy that. So... Hang with me. We will do another live attack coming up in just a moment. Here we go. Second one, ASAP Ozzy. All right, here we can see if he's going to go for a three-star. Yeah, definitely a three-star uh, army comp here. He's got his, we got a few Valks. That's interesting. There's just a couple of Valks there. He's got his, but most basically it's a go la Loon attack. Uh, he's sprinkling in a few ground troops there. We'll see what he does with that. Creating his funnel for his queen here. Dropping down that minion. The queen taking a little bit of damage, but she is in good shape. Healer's getting her right back up to full. After that, Archer Tower goes down. He did get a few of the CC troops out, but obviously not a, a complete emptying there. Just a few archers coming out. We'll see which direction he, uh, she's going to go here. I think he wants her to go right, but she could... Yeah, she's going to go right here. So that's good Good news. Uh, looking pretty solid there. Hopefully her, uh, her healers do not get in range of that air defense as she makes the round around this corner. I think she's going to step up. She is going to get in range of this CC when she does. And hopefully can reach that uh, that air defense. I believe she can right there. Dragon finally coming out, dropping down that poison, slowing everything down. There is a witch in the CC, which is interesting, uh, but that is going to get taken care of by the poison very quickly. Uh, everything looking fine right here. Now this queen is, or his healers are getting targeted by that CC, excuse me, by that air defense. But uh, he did take out that king pretty quickly, and now the air defense is gone. So now everything else looking good. Has his king and a few Valks coming in right here with a few wizards. He's going to go into this uh, core here. He's going to try to get the queen and this air defense maybe even try to get that inferno tower maybe that's what those valks are about uh, not sure he can get it all but maybe with that 40 queen he can or 40 king excuse me he can um, he's looking really really good right here i don't know if the king's going to go the right direction though he might go too far from this jump and not go back in he needs to pop that ability there it is uh, perfect right onto that inferno tower he's going to get it done now these are single inferno tower so he's got that going for him um, with the Queen's ability up right here, he may even get the second Infernal Tower. If he does, this is going to be a three-star. He's got a lot of loons. Well, he's got ten loons and two Lava Hounds, which is enough to take the back side of this. There's the Freeze. Uh, he is taking that Infernal Tower down. This is looking really, really strong. He's out of spells at this point, uh, but only one air defense left. He's got balloons coming in from all different sides. Oh, that King did not get that Infernal Tower. I don't know how that did not go down. I missed it. I sort of looked away and started focusing on this Queen and all and just sort of lost track of it. Um, very interesting. I, that might cost him the three-star right there. He had it if that if that Infernal Tower goes down. 
Um, still might get it. He's, that front tower's got to be low. He does have balloons coming in, although they're getting pr they're going down pretty quick. This is a single inferno tower, but only a couple of balloons left. He needs one of these to at least crash on it. He's got two more. Is he going to get it? It's going to be close. Looks like he's probably going to get it right there. One more drop. Oh, it's still not down. How in the world did that king not get it any lower than that? We're going to have to watch that back. Um, very, very interesting. It's going to be a super, super high percentage two-star. I don't think he's going to get the three here because, unfortunately, well, I don't know. This is going to be so close. This is going to be so close. Uh, that Infernal Tower is going down uh, right there. They do get it, but he is going to run out of time. Man, what a heartbreaker. This is going to be like a 99% uh, if this queen can get through this wall and onto the CC. 98% two-star. Very nicely done. So close. Ninja, nice try ASAP. All right. They don't all go three-star style, but uh, obviously that was a very good attempt. Uh, and I wasn't paying attention to the base there, but I think that was probably a fresh hit as well. Uh, he had it. He had it. That king uh, takes that Infernal Tower down. Uh, that's a three-star. Not sure what happened there. I have to watch it back on the replay. <laughs> Jake's not All right, guys. I'll be back with another one. Oh, here we go. We've got Boss going in on number 24. What has he got here? He's got a couple of Valks, basically a, a Goaloon uh, with a couple of Valks sprinkled in there. So we'll see what his game plan is for him there. Probably to help out with the Queen, I would think. Uh, has the Golem down. Has a couple of Wizards behind that. Clearing out trash. There's the Test Wall Breaker and the next one behind it. Uh, should be open wall right there. Yep, looking good. Uh, King's going in. Queen's going in. It's sending those few Valks he's got in. Everything is looking solid at this point. The jump spell, yeah, going over towards that that uh, defending queen. He wants to get both of these air defense taken care of, and this is a, a lower defensive base, so I think he'll have no trouble getting in there. Now, the, obviously, the, all four Teslas are going to be right there in that core, but the queen is taking out the right side AD. The left side AD is down. The queen's down. It's all about these Sisu troops now getting that dragon taken care of. Uh, he's got his Queen's ability still, so he can pop that here in just a moment and should be looking pretty good. Uh, the, the dragon still taking tons of damage from that poison. Only a little bit of health left right there, and boom, he's gone. So now it's time to send the air attack in. He's got two Lava Hounds, one in the CC, one of his own. Uh, just going to send him on that long axis, going all the way up the base there, soaking up any traps that he can and following it up with balloons. He's got two rages, two haste spells. He's going to be able to move these balloons along really quickly. Now, the one thing I worry about there is they did soak up a lot of bombs, and he's got no backup uh, lava hounds here. He just has one for each air defense, uh, but those are lower level air defenses, so he's going to be fine here. Just rolls over those two uh, once those are down. He does have a sweeper to worry about, but the queen just took it out. Uh, that is going to be that beautiful attack by boss. Just absolutely smash that base out. Uh, again, lower level Town Hall 9, uh, but they got to be three-star too, and he just did it exactly like you should, just overpowering it, going in, using those higher, um, you know, this 2022 heroes, not like maxed out, but still very powerful heroes, and just completely decimated the, the powerhouse of that base, which was the southern half. Uh, once that was done, it was all over but the crying, and that is an easy, easy three-star. So nicely done to boss. We'll let everybody know he got an engine. Ninja again. Rapid Ninja. All right. Good job, boss. One more uh, building to go down here, this uh, collector, and that is going to be that. And I think that's going to be it for the Ninja Live. I had to get something for you guys because uh, obviously with the Supercell update and the replays, be able to get another one. Never mind. Jake's going in. He tried to sneak in, I think, on me. Uh, but we have caught the back half of it at least. Uh, he's going in here. Oh, man. We, could, we missed most of this. I think it's going to be a fail, too. Unfortunately, uh, but we did try to catch what we could of it. Don't know what went wrong. Hard to say, uh, but uh, Jake, we got you. I know you sneaky thing. You tried to get away with it. Uh, Jake's been doing really, really well though. They, they, they're not definitely not all three stars, but I mean he has had some three stars and some tough wars. So keep your head up. Don't worry about that one. Uh, everybody messes up occasionally. So there you go, guys. That's going to be it for this one. Uh, three and a half attacks. But anyways, with the replays being wiped, didn't have much else to show. So I thought I'd jump on with my ninja suit and grab you some live attacks. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, Jake from One Hive doing my best to help you guys suck less.